Jesus, my Lord, look what you've done for me. I'll never be the same since the day that you called my name. Yahweh, Yahweh, look what you've done for me. What can I do for you? I want you to know this heart is yours It's not a question of what you can do for me What can I do for you, my love? A very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen Welcome once again to Big Stone Television I know a lot of you by now have seen the video of me in a doctor's office with an IV hooked up to my wrist. I'm on the subject and I'm not going to stop because I was diagnosed with stage 4 prostate cancer. Now let's talk about early detection because there's some things I want to talk about today. But I want to talk about early detection, and it says early detections equal longer life. You must get tested. What is the prostate? The prostate gland is found only in men and is one of a group of glands whose secretion nourish sperm after ejaculation. It is about the size of a lime and is located at the neck of the bladder. The gland surrounds the urethra which is the tool through which urine passes from the bladder. What is prostate cancer? Cancer is a group of cells which have started to divide and multiply without the natural control that would normally limit them in the prostate. This leads to an enlargement of the gland which causes difficulty when passing urine due to a narrowing of the passage from the bladder. Causes and prevention. As with most cancers, there are no clear causes. However, the risk of developing prostate cancer increases with age and there is also a family tendency which may cause it to develop much earlier. Jamaican men have an unusually high incident of prostate cancer. High fat diet, a diet high in animal fat. Family history, a brother or father with prostate cancer. Race, black men have an increased risk. Exposure to heavy metal, particularly cadmium, radiator or pesticides. What to look for in the early stages of prostate cancer, usually has no symptoms. So, do not wait until you have a problem. Painful urination, weak or interrupted flow, hesitancy, urinary frequency at night, difficulty starting or stopping the urine, pain in the lower back groan between the scrotum and rectum or upper thighs, loss of erection, constipation or altered bowel habits. Then suppose you're worried. What to do if you're worried? Not all prostate problems are cancer, but only your doctor can decide that. Your doctor can do a simple digital rectal examination or DRE of your prostate to be sure there's not an obvious cancer. In addition, he will require a simple blood test prostate specific antigen which can lead to a diagnosis before the disease would be life threatening depending on the findings a biopsy is done to confirm the diagnosis early detection can save your life now this pamphlet is actually from the Jamaica Cancer Society they're located at 16 Lady Musgrave Road, Kingston 5. 
The telephone numbers are 876-927-4265 and their website is www.jamaicacancersociety.org They have a branch in St. Elizabeth and also there's a branch in St. Anne. Now, I will be giving out these flyers. I spoke to my friend Michael Jardine and he gave this to me and we had a small talk about prostate cancer. Now checking your prostate, the first thing you must do is meet with your doctor. The second thing you must do is get screened. The third thing you must do is check your results. And the fourth thing you must do is to check your imaging. And the fifth thing, check your diagnosis. Now. After talking with Michael, he said a lot of men come in sometimes, they do check their prostate to see if it's cancerous. But guess what? Most of them not come back. Most of them and them that they tested for prostate cancer or enlarged prostate. Now show up for the results. Me don't know if I fear take them over our. So even though some of them and them face up and do the, the digital rectal examination them not sure if you get the results. So what's the purpose of doing the examination if you don't want to hear the results? Because the results is what tells you if you have prostate cancer or not. Not only by Kingston Public Hospital. It's alarming down there. There's a lot of patients down there because it's free. But it's not everything that is free. Not everything at Kingston Public Hospital. And I assume any other hospital in Jamaica is free. I'm not trying to throw pun at any political party because all political party must have experienced prostate cancer at one time or another during their reign. What I'm saying to every political party, and I'm saying this to the leader of the opposition, Mark Golden, and I'm also saying this to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Mr. Andrew Onis. We must come up with a plan. We must come up with a plan where we can make it very affordable or even free to the common Jamaican man to have his prostate test even once a year. It's very important. How can we have a country with the highest percentage of prostate cancer anywhere in the world and we don't have it for free? In England, whenever you go to your doctor, and they check your prostate, or you know what they do? They will make sure they have your name and number, and when your time is due again, the following year, they would call you on the phone and says, Mr. Sinclair, Mr. Smith, Mr. Brown, your prostate cancer is due next week on whatever date and time there is. Very, very important. Now I want you to take a look at this. Take a look at this. What you just saw, and I'm trying to locate it on my phone. Now, what you just saw was, it says, IRA Disposable and Supplies Limited. Prostate Biopsy Kit. Now, even though the services are free at the Kingston Public Hospital, if you who walks in to get tested for your prostate, do not have 5,430 Jamaican dollars to pay for the needle to do your biopsy, then you cannot have your biopsy done. We have to fix that. And I will advocate to fix that. We must fix that. The average man can't even find his meal, his next dinner, much less where is he going to find $5,430 from to pay for a needle to do a biopsy. I was told that a particular doctor have done over 600 biopsies per year. And that is just one doctor. We have 19 urologists scattered across the island. So if one doctor have done over 600 biopsies per year, can you imagine what the others do collectively? 
Now out of that 600 biopsy, 400 plus is cancerous. That is alarming. That is, we need to fix that, Jamaican man. We need to fix that. You are dying at an alarming rate and you don't even know it or you refuse to do the test to save your own life because of a stigma. Listen to Big Stone. And I'm talking to you, my brothers. I love you, not just brothers here in Jamaica, but brothers scattered all across the world because prostate cancer affect men of African descent more than any other race in the world. Something not right there, so. Something wrong. I cannot fix the world. I cannot save the world, but I intend to save a few lives. So my fellow Jamaican, please put the stigma aside. Listen to me. I'm suffering right now from stage four prostate cancer. It has spread outside of the prostate to my left iliac wing and my left femur. In, in layman turn, my left hip and my left femur is infected with prostate cancer. Now I intend to beat it. I'm going to be a living testimony because I live for the sake of others. And also, I know for sure, Jamaica, I'm going to beat this. I want my life to be a living testimony that there's a true and living God and no evil that is formed against you shall prosper. I want to take time out to big up a very supportive family. Big up my wife, Domini Sinclair. Big up my daughter, Claudia Sinclair. Big up my twin boy, Sean and Shane Sinclair. I dedicate my life to fighting this. Big up my grandchildren, Shade and Cameron, Skyla, Amir, and Sean Jr. Big up my brother, Glenn. Glenn, you know how much I love you, man. You're the only brother that I have. I have to make you proud of me, Glenn. Big up my big sister, Yuna. Big up my bigger sister, Sister Faye. Big up my little sister, Marcia. Marcia! Big up the Vibes Mistress, Karen. Big up Judith. Big up every single member of my family. Big up Natalie. You know who you are, my little niece. Big you up because the support that I get from you all is tremendous. I want to big up my friends out there like Major FM White. Big up yourself, Major FM White. Dr. Julius Garvey, big up yourself, sir. Thank you for your continued support. Big up my friend, George Pan. Without you yesterday, I was having problems. And you said, Big Stone, get up off your butt and go to the doctor now. Your blood pressure is 98 over 58. It is low. Go check it out. We don't want to lose you. Jamaica, I want to big up my fans over there. Jacqueline Welch, big up yourself. Big up yourself, Lisa York. Big up yourself, Violet Eva Mahoney Brown, big up yourself. Big up yourself, Maureen Gutsmore. Big up yourself, all of you, all of you. Karen B. Jackson, big up yourself. Big up yourself, Carrie Ann Barnett, big up yourself. Big up yourself to every one of you. I want to big up Jerry Matthias. Big up yourself, Cherry, Mrs. Matthias, big up yourself. Beverly Kelso, the sole surviving whalers, big up yourself. You along with Jerry Matthias, who is the sole surviving maters, big up on yourself. I'm proud to call you my friends. Boswell, my doctor that I called 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and even though Boswell wasn't a doctor, he was there to guide me. Heru I Shakamusa Menelib. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the continued support. Eru's there for me every step of the way. Miguel Lorne, thank you, sir. All of you, Denise, Isis, Miller, big up on yourself. Sharon Chambers, big up yourself. Theo, big up yourself. Big up Yaga, 
for me yaga lifestyle big up yourself i'm eating healthy because of you jamaica i'm fighting this battle not just for myself i must win i must win i cannot lose because there's a true and living god jamaica tell a friend to tell a friend to go get your prostate People are dying. Save a life. Share this video. We must. My late sister Janet Sinclair, you have taught me well. Advice to the love Lord. What a sister you were. Anywhere you're in heaven, I'm not ready to join you yet with my mother, Perlene, and my father, Rodney, and my brother, Norman, and my nephew, Paul. I'm not ready to join you guys yet until the Almighty says so. I'm here to serve my country. John F. Kennedy says in 1961, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I am living for the sake of others. Thank you. Yo, this is King Luck again, and this is my appeal. Yeah, hear me? Man, dash where your pride and, and get, get your prostate check. Yeah, hear me? Come and say, dash where your pride and get, get your prostate check. Yeah, hear me now? Yo, this is King Luck, and I'm appealing to all my brothers over the age of 40. Please, go get your prostate check. Yeah, hear me? Go get your prostate check. It's urgent. You saw me, I say? All right, King Luck said that.